Hello, George. I'm so happy to have you here as a new guest in our new series. We have now a new series every week since with George. You are the guest of this show, of this series every week. Thank you. And um, yeah, I just this is the first one, so I think it's very important that uh, that we tell our audience who you are. So can you tell us a little bit because in this in this series we're going to talk a lot about consciousness, also about spirituality, but also about the important things in life like food. Mm -hmm. Because you are, I think we can say that a food expert. You are a chef and you are you you have a lot of experience with raw food, with what food does to the body about uh, nutrition so that are all things which are very important for you and where you have a lot of knowledge about but you also have a lot of knowledge about music can you tell us what is the connection between music and food in your life how did you come from music to food so what exactly is your background mm -hmm. actually i started like uh uh, hobby musicians uh, I had a lot of love for guitar maybe it was because my uncle had a guitar and uh, he was playing a, back in that time uh, songs of Beatles huh? and uh, that inspired me a little bit but uh, in a way I was not satisfied with that kind of music I was more I was more uh, classical, classical. I had always a feeling that uh, the classical music has too much to offer. The harmonic side of the classic music and uh, uh, the varia variety of the classic music, which inspired me a lot. And I remember when I was a child, like something like, I don't know exactly, just something like, uh, eight maybe nine maybe ten i don't know in that range i had there was a uh, theater uh was uh, like it was a series on a, on a tv and uh, the theater was about an, uh, uh, a woman will come i think I, it was an uh, italian opera but it wasn't a, it was a modified version of it or simplified modified version of it and the background of that music was always Beethoven, Wagner, most of the time Wagner. And that touched me a lot when I was, I don't know why. Huh? Then I started after that, after uh, development of my uh, and studying, uh, and uh, studying art, and uh, I grew up a little bit with that kind of music. Huh? It was always my father listening to uh, when he was, before he was sleeping, always he was listening to Monte Carlo radio, huh? Monte Carlo. It always was a beautiful trumpet uh, starting with that music, huh? beautiful trumpet. It always touched me. And before I was sleeping, and you know, before you sleep, you take everything with you. Huh? You play it your unconscious level. I think that also played a role. And after that, I met somebody. Uh, he played guitar. And he played one piece. It touched me so hard, so deeply and so hard. I said, oh my God, I want to play guitar. It's so just like something like was craving for that kind of music. And I start to practice. And I start to practice, to practice, but I practice wrong. Huh? Well, first rate, first rate, I was frustrating a part of my life. I, I remember I was looking for a, a, a right teacher was difficult to find the right teacher back then and then after that I start to discover things in the library huh? how can I use my fingers how can I uh, use mine uh, uh, develop uh, the how can I exactly use my finger and I develop the technique of the fingers it was big big uh, research I did and uh, I met somebody called uh, was a was a, actually was a uh, priest uh, and 
Philip, he was coming from Italy. And uh, he teach me the principle how I can play. Very simple. And after that, I didn't, after that, I didn't meet him. It was a very big gap. First meeting and then the last, after many, many years, I met him one more time. And, I've, and the, I back then and stopped it. And it is a very pity I didn't meet that man anymore. I hope he's alive. I send him a lot of health and uh, blessing. And uh, when when I start to play guitar, huh, I I want to be really I want to be a performer, recital. Huh? You perform uh, like a single one. Uh, you perform in front of an audience. They, they call it recital. And uh, during that period, I was also reading a lot of books. I remember back then, like Colin Wilson, touched me a lot. And when he was talking about the peak experience, and I was always wondering why some pieces of Beethoven, they are better than different pieces, of why some piece of music that are better than another, of not better and better like he is better than another, why is they are more touching and was deeply, deeply touched by another people. Why? I was always wondering why, why, why. When I remember when the uh, first uh, album came from uh, Michael Jackson, huh? beat it, of the another one when he was uh, dancing in a grave, how he called the music, I don't remember anymore. I was fascinated, wow, what a beautiful music. Even it's not classic music, huh? but why that kind of music better than another one? Why they are so well composed? I was always guy. Why? 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 And after that, I did start to be uh, start to be uh, very, uh, very uh, extremely uh, involved in the music and uh, I played uh, many pieces and uh, perform in many places in hotels, for example, and. Uh, so you did not have lessons in the beginning. You just learned no, it to yourself. I had, of course, I had lessons, but when I'm self-taught. Most of the time, I was, I was discovering things by myself because I didn't have a luxury to have a, a private lesson. You know? And back that in that time back then, it was a little bit uh, like uh, uh, like you have to be privileged to have a teacher. Huh? And plus, you have to have the money to pay the teacher. And the most important, where is the teacher? I didn't have that part. Now, for all those uh, difficulties. But, but uh, even then, I discovered for myself, how can, I be, how can I be good with what I had back then? Huh? And then, uh, 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 when I was talking about, uh, yeah, when I started to play in hotels, start to play I perform in a small audience huh uh, they pay me always huh and start also people tell me George can you help me there are lots of young people younger than me of older than me sometimes to teach me the guitar because there was gu guitarist huh but they didn't have that uh, uh, finger technique to play more to be more uh, to perform more and uh, they found uh, that I had that technique uh, I also I start to to help them. Huh? Uh, they paid me always, which that encouraged me. They said, "My God, I I have something that I love so much, and they pay me for, and were generous sometimes, very generous." And uh, I start to to deepen in that subject. And uh, I remember once I uh, had a chance to to come across to a book called Emilio Pujol. Uh, I think if you get to get rest, you will know that name. Huh? He's very technique oriented uh, guitarist. He go to the details. And I think if I if I now uh, think very deeply, I think Emilio Pujol was, he tell me George, I think, huh? like spiritually talking, that is the end of your performing. I don't know why, because when I start with him, my condition of, my finger condition 
start to go back. And why I'm telling you like that? Because uh, back then I saw the world through the guitar. It was everything guitar. Okay, you have a passion, but I, I didn't saw many beautiful things in my life. Only guitar. I didn't enjoy living with my sister deeply, with my brother, with my mother, with my father. I was only in guitar. I saw all the world through the whole of guitar. And that is when I think now, it was very sad to, to feel like that and to see the world in one dimension. I was so involved in the guitar that you don't believe I, I was in love with that music. And uh, when I studied uh, Pukhul, uh, my it was very technique oriented. I, I went just on and on and on practicing that kind of technique. Huh? And I start to feel that my middle finger, not the index finger, start to be a little bit, little bit uh, perform stranger sometime, like, like blocked, have a blocked, huh? and but the middle finger, middle finger, start to feel very tiring, and uh, and I start to feel like when I go in, in, in speed, when I develop the speed, huh, increase the speed, it blocked. And that was first sign of focal dystonia, the disease. Huh? Thank yeah. you. And we're going to talk about focal dystonia in the next episode. Thank you so much. George. Thank you very much.